Welcome to the Proper Gauntlet, brought to you by mtgotickets.com. I'm going to play Encroaching Blight, and we are in the third round. We are in the just in the tournament practice room, and it is serious. Elimination in this round means you're gone from the gauntlet, and your only hope is to get voted back after round four during the week of vote back. This might be my favorite deck in the gauntlet. It reminds me of the old Necro style decks. And I just love to play like that. Four Signing Blood, three Read the Bones, lots and lots of life drain. That is fun. And here we go against DJ Sigma. Play me a tune, DJ. I got two swamps. Uh, and then I have a pretty good cyborg guide here. One bubbling mac, one draw artifact, one land fetch artifact, one removal spell. I don't have a land fetch artifact. So this is a mulligan. Uh, according to the rules, I think. And this is a keep. And doing nothing. I have four Shainish Edict, right? No, I don't! Why don't I have four Shainish Edict? My god, I have nothing against Guardian of the Guild Pact. He mulligans, I keep. I don't think I want to corrupt here, so I'm putting that on the bottom. He mulligans to five. So I should be doing well here. I have four Doom Blades. But the brewer, Pop Dacon, has thought about this a lot. What is that? Oh, I'm thinking like One Land Spy or something. Okay, he plays a land as well. And a court monkless. Okay, then I'm happy. This is where Shane's Edict would be awesome. Oh, that card doesn't look any good. So we are facing a white metalcraft deck. He doesn't equip it. So maybe a Skyfisher comes into play now. I will play Pestilence on turn 4 and then Pestilence's team on turn 5. And then we have to recover with... Uh, with the Corrupt. We are taking some serious damage here. Or Tendrils. Tendrils on turn 4. Is that better than Pestilence? Probably. Reading those funky bones. I do want both of these cards. I think Signing Blood might be greedy here. It's down to 2 and we don't want to hurt ourselves. Am I wrong? Yeah, I have to be wrong. I need both these cards. And I'm going to keep them both. And next turn I'm gonna... Tendrils. The Skyfisher. But I don't have time for Pestilence shenanigans here. He's still not equipping the Bone Saw, so it might be another Skyfisher. The flare ask. And something else because and a glint talk. Yeah, so now pestilence for two will be very good. That is some distance away. We'll only take two damage next turn though. And I don't want him to be able to do any shenanigans, so I am. Um, Corrupting here. Next turn I take five or six. 
Yeah, this might be to I might be overrun here. Taking seven here and seven, meaning that I cannot pestilence, but I can corrupt my way out of it. Ten. Wow. But I draw consume spirit, so I can consume spirit, the sun chaser. Because he kills me now, right? Five. Yeah, he can do 10. But now he cannot. And then I can actually afford Pestilence for two here next turn. What did you draw? I go to six, but Pestilence for two seems really good. I'm not a... It's a Frogmite. So I uh, get his entire team here. Pestilence. Do it in his draw step. So he can't play a creature. This turn. And I think I'm just corrupting the Sun Chaser here. Or should I just corrupt face? He's doing six damage. It is a bit dangerous to corrupt face here. But I, I'll corrupt, I'll sign in blood next turn. I'm gonna lose the pestilence. But he doesn't have haste, right? I can Pestilence for three. And use the Wayfarer's Bobble. That is super cool. Yep. One life. That's all you need. And now corrupt face. I don't really need to do it now, but it is the win if I draw a land. Did I put the stop in his draw face? Frogmite has entered the fray, but now I can win. He will do five. And I just draw the swamp. And corrupt him out. Yes! Woohoohoo! Okay, encroaching blight. This is going up on Christmas Eve. That is the Christmas, the important Christmas day in Sweden. Okay, Affinity, Hexproof Auras, Delver, Mono Red Burn, Delver, Mono Black Control. We don't have white. Against, they're mostly non-creature spells. 
bring in some control. I think we're fine. I think the point is just that we play as is against a deck like this. Because we are pretty well adjusted against it. Okay, the idea against Hexproof is to just rip their hand apart. Okay, what do we have here? We have another two land hand. Of course, two land hands are extremely likely if you have 22 lands. Do the math and you will find... 21 lands is only the only thing we have. We don't have a bubbling muck. We have sign in blood, two search spells. Yeah, this is a keep. But of course we will take a ton of damage here. Oh, especially by that guy. This could be doom for us. Um, Bobel does accelerate us. Which our miller swear does not. So it's definitely using the Bobel next turn. Can he play two artifacts? Of course he can. There is an artifact. And another artifact. Pretty good start. And we just accelerate like crazy here. We're getting to four mana. Then we can consume spirit something. Hopefully a two toughness creature. And then go for pestilence. But are we playing dark rituals? We're probably not. We're playing bubbling max. That could save us here. But we are in a pretty bad spot here. And it's not an exceptional start by the opposing deck. And he does not equip again, so it's a Sky Fisher. This is a ton of damage. But there's a frog knight, so we have a consumed spirit target. But now we have to draw a land. And another one. Oh, this is not going to work. Wow, he empties his hand. Oh my god. We don't have Evan Cars Justice, which would do a lot of work here. So why didn't he do damage with that this turn? Okay, he had to have... No, I don't understand. Will we even live one turn? How much damage is this? 5, 7, 9, 11. And we don't have any good way out. This is not gonna save us. And we are going to miss a land drop. Signing blood feels super dangerous here. I don't think anything in our sideboard would be useful here. Not distress, not drain life, not the rest. And not swamps. I can't pestilence for one. Protection from black and from red. That feels like a wasted card, actually. Well, it doesn't because we don't have Edict. <laughs> 10 damage. Uh, 
And now we get to five mana, so we can Pestilence and then we die, or we can do three damage, and not to that thing, because it is protected. Uh, if we do three damage, we get to seven life, and then he just kills us. And I can't sign in blood because I just die. I could sign in blood for muckling, bubbling muck. And then do a four damage spell, but that doesn't make any difference either. I did play a land, yeah. So this is all, sadly. And now I'm scared. But I think he had a pretty good hand this time. I really don't want to get this deck eliminated as it is my favorite deck. I wonder how it does against Delver. I do miss the Shane Edicts though. I think they are far superior to Doomblade. Okay, encroaching blight. Let's not get eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet. Uh oh. Poptacon, thank you so much for building this amazing deck. I just love it. This is more to my taste than my own Necro deck that I said no to. Yes. I have the Bubbling Muck. I have a draw spell, I have a one land fetch artifact. <sighs> yeah, I don't feel like I can throw away more hands. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna play the bubble. I'm gonna use the bubble next turn and then we play. Quartermonculus. It comes into play tapped, yes. And that's what's going to happen. I'm scared. Really scared. Hopefully it doesn't have what? Why is there black mana in his deck? Is that it? Now it's coarse catfish or something. We must consider bubbling muck and consuming spirit it. But no, we're gonna read the bones. Surely you have something here. There, it's, there is no chance in hell that you don't have anything. Okay, now. Without the plus. Doom Traveler, because he fears um, Edict so much, not knowing that I do not have them. So Doom Traveler is not the best card. Yeah, I'm gonna have to read the bones here. And I'm only looking for land, pretty much. I don't think I can take Consume Spirit here. I want to get the Corrupt Mana. And I get two Swamps. So now I just need to survive until the big Pestilence. So we are consume spiriting Quartermonculus. Wait a minute, we can bubbling muck pestilence. And he has not seen that. That is gonna be awesome. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. And Doom Traveler just dies to Pestilence. So that's what we're doing here, of course. 
Leaving him with two cards. Which we can safely deal with. Yes. And we can even get the core sky fisher. Will leave us at seven life. But it will be sweet. No, it's only two. Bubbling Mac gives us six mana. We still kill everything but the Sky Fisher. It will do four. But next turn we can consume its spirit. What about Bubbling Mac for consume spirit? That will get us four damage. It's not good enough. I think we have to kill a lot of creatures here. So we bubbling muck. Pestilence. One. Getting back that guy. One. And then we go to four, but we can consume spirit to death unless he draws a, a flare husk. And then we have to consume spirit anyway. Just to survive. We are at the risk of not having anything here. Yeah, that kind of works. It keeps Pestilence around. Why don't have a, I have an edict? Okay. So now I just have to go to the face. Every turn. And that won't work for long. I'm gonna do significant damage to him. Maybe I can get a draw out of this. No, Pestilence don't do draws. It's Crypt Rats that does draws. And I won't even live two turns, will I? I will. I'll be at nine. But what if he plays a creature here? That will be a big problem. Fortunately it doesn't, so I can corrupt to the face and then have one turn in which to try to draw something. Or actually even two turns. But I now die if I don't corrupt face. Chainish Edict! <laughs> Sorry. Just seems like such a natural inclusion in this deck that easily has 7 mana. If I draw a... Uh, oh god. 
Okay, now I'm dead. There is no way out of this, is there? Hey, he doesn't take damage from black sources. And I can't do three damage to him as I then die. So Encroaching Blight has been eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet. No! I like this deck so much. Okay. I'll give it the full chance of getting there. He might just get disconnected or something. But that's not it. If I Pestilence for 3 here, I just die. And that's it. Encroaching Blight has been eliminated from the Pauper Gauntlet. Oh no! Damn it. Thank you for watching. Mask of Law and Order. Law and Grace did me in. Thank you for watching.